Hello, I'm Cal Wellborn, agrologist with the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Division of Plant Industry in Gainesville, Florida. We're under uh, 40X right now, looking for uh, one to four pairs of lateral stigmata posterior to leg two, coxie free and movable, uh, prodorsal, without prodorsal trichobothria, and adults with four pairs of legs. Well, we can very clearly see right here, there are only two pairs of legs here. Now we need to look to see if there's any more legs further back. And we can see right here, there are only two pairs of legs. So immediately, without looking at any of the other characters, we can eliminate the parasitiformes. They all have four pairs of legs, the ones you're going to find. So we're going to move down to the um, couplet three. Clissary rarely chelate, usually reduced fixed digit, modified movable digit, palps linear or with claw-like seta on palp tibia. Rutella absent, stigmata opening between clistral bases, anterior prodorsum or absent. Paratremes on dorsal clistral bases, on prodorsum or absent. So we're going to look to see if we have any stigmata paratremes. We're going to look for the clistra and look at the palps. We're going to go to oil to do that. We're under oil immersion. We're going to look at the clissary and the palps. Here's a palp. This is the um, this is the nathosoma. This area is the nathosoma. This is your uh, subcapitulum. And here we have, these are the stylets. This is your clissary here. This is your movable digit in, in here. It has several stylets associated with it, up to, up to seven stylets make up the, the, the movable digit of the clissera. The palps are very reduced. So we have clissera modified, fixed digit reduced, modified movable digit. Palps are reduced, they're linear. Rotella is absent, stigmata paratremes are not present. So we're going to prostigmata, couplet five. Couplet five, adults and immatures with only two pairs of legs versus adults and immatures with three or four pairs of legs. So we know it has two pairs of legs. So we're going to the um, area fioide. And that's couplet six. Prodorsum with one to five CD, one to th three insert on the anterior half of the prodorsum. Female genital covering without scorings, usually associated with conifers or monocots. Now, in this case, you have things from different hosts. We'll assume we don't know the host, and we'll look at the genital cover flap. We'll look at, we'll look at the prodorsal sclerite first. This is your prodorsal sclerite. It has two pairs of CD, one here one here. It can have one to five, we have two, but our one to three on the anterior half of the prodorsal sclerite. So we need to look where they are on the prodorsal sclerite. And this is, this is the posterior part, this is the anterior, so both of these are on the posterior part. We focus up and down, here we see no other CD. So it has two pairs of CD and they're both on the posterior half. Other character is uh, scorings on the female genital cover flap. And it's kind of faint in the specimen, but you can see lines on the female genital cover flap here. They're very faint. And they, may, they show up better probably in fresher specimens, but there are scorings there. So we move on. It's not a phytoptidae. Prodorsum was 0 to 2 CD. We have two CD, not inserted, inserted on the anterior half of the prodorsum, the prodorsal sclerite. That's true. F genital cover flap, usually with scorings. There are some scorings there. Nathosoma small relative to body. Cholesterol stylus relatively short and gently curved down, the down along the length. This can be kind of hard to see. But what, what we're looking for here is if the nathosome appears to be very large compared to the idiosoma of the mite, and it's not especially noticeable that it's any larger uh, than the idiosoma, 
And here we have your, your stylets, and they're gently curving. So it's an areophyidine. And that's it for areophyidine.